my name is Tom Harper. I'm a 30 year stunt veteran and we're here in Moore Park today and we're going to turn this car over here in a little bit at about 45 miles an hour and it's going to be a cannon rollover. It's just a little different from a cannon if you're not familiar with it. This is a cannonless turnover system that is pneumatic and it has a lever that fires out and retracts back in so that we don't have a projectile flying. We've used it several times on several major motion pictures with uh, huge success. So uh, we'll get inside the car here, take a look at it, give you a little bit of information on how it works. So inside the car here, first of all, we have a, uh, a NASCAR type roll cage. Uh, this is built out of one and three quarter DOM tubing. Inside this cage, we've incorporated our cannonless turnover system, which consists of several different components. First, you have this pneumatic cylinder here. This pneumatic cylinder is hooked, hooked to this control box. Now, this box here, inside of this box, we have accumulators that we charge with air, and both those accumulators, when the button is activated, will fire air to this pneumatic cylinder, which will extend and it's attached to a lever that's hinged on the bottom of the car. That'll extend down, lifting the car while it's sliding sideways, and it will retract in probably 1.1 seconds. And then we'll be off to the races on a roller. What our effects crew has done for the prep is they have added a master cylinder tied in to the rear brake system so that we can lock up the rear wheels by simply pulling this handle hard when we're at the speed that we desire It'll lock up the rear wheels, we'll initiate the car into a slide sideways, and then this button here on the end, I'll push that, and that'll activate our cannon that uh, will send the car rolling. That simple. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to air this up, and we'll give you a demonstration of how the system works. We'll air it up, and we'll fire it, and we'll meter the air into it slowly, and just lift the car up, and you'll see basically in real slow motion how it works. <laughs> All right, so what you're seeing here is this thing is extended. This is basically what happens to the car when you hit that button. This comes down with a tremendous amount of energy and it happens instantly. But it also retracts as fast as it goes down. So the human eye, you just about really can't see it. It'll happen so fast. And when this retracts, when you're sliding sideways and this thing goes down, boom, you're rolling. You just start rolling. So, Tell me about the ride, like what's... Well, generally it, it happens really quick. I mean, you, when you hit that button, boom, you're on your roof, you're rolling and you're trying to look out the window and try to count the rolls and you just hang on for the ride. What's going on here? We're going to simulate a shotgun blast on the tire with a little bit of a uh, studio manager. Do you want to share, without giving <laughs> away any of your secrets, kind of what the plan is here, or what's happening? We're going to put this in the wheel well so we get some sparks and some smoke for the purpose of selling the fact that this is being shot with a shotgun, the tire. And what is this right here? This is some black powder with aluminum powder and, and titanium balls with, an, with a match. So to light that, create some smoke and some spark. And this is sparks. And they're directional, so we can aim them. Slow spark. So we'll hook this up to a wire, put it on a button, and when Tom comes flying down the road, he'll hit the button and this will go off, fill the wheel with smoke, and sparks should jump out. Now this button is a button where we're going to do the test. It's basically tied to our special effects that we're going to test right now. And we'll do that in a separate shot, where it's a tight <laughs> shot on the wheel and you see the sparks and stuff. But... Go ahead and pull that back through then. Is it this hole? Go hot. What's he doing right now inside the, the vehicle? Um, he's making the uh, charge hot, the pyrotechnics hot, that's uh, mounted up underneath the fender wheel. Um, we have the battery pack mounted in the trunk next to the fuel cell. The wires ran inside to the button, which Tom has in his hand. Now that uh, he just closed the trunk, so I believe we are hot. Yeah, that looked good. And now, uh, yeah, and well, we have, um, we have some gerbs that we'll put in uh, for when uh, Lou's here. 
Okay. Uh, we just did the DSC, the black powder, titanium, and aluminum powder on that okay. one. And then what we're going to incorporate um, a gerb, so you'll get um, not the spark you just, you'll get the spark you just saw, but we're also going to get a, a poof, big shootout spark as well. Okay. I am padding up our roll cage in case my hand hits something during the turnover. I can't wear an arm restraint on my right arm because I have to operate this. So I'll have one on my left, just with enough slack in it to steer the car. Stand by, Tom. I'm good. Action, Tom, action. Now we're going to put on all the safety gear that we're going to use for this. We're using an R3 head restraint. Um, we'll put on all the gear, charge the system, let it roll. So we wear an arm restraint here to keep your arm from going out the window so that the car doesn't roll over. You keep your arm out the window and crush your hand, break your arm. You want to strap off your air yep. belt? Okay, so I'll cue action. He's just be watching in the side mirror, and then he'll take his own cue off of you. All right. And then keep up. Go for Now we're going to tie up, put in all the safety gear. I'll put it on loosely, just kind of lightly snug it up. Uh, hang on there. And we're going to charge the uh, accumulators, and then we'll turn the system on, open the air valves, and uh, I'll snug down the belts. And give them a thumbs up and we'll go. What, 750 on A? Yeah. I can reach up and release the head restraints. Where's my other glove? Ugh. Okay. System A and System B is hot on the electrical. All the red lights are on, right? All the red lights are on. Right? All the red lights are on. Okay, Jason, get away from that side. Here we go. You were hot, hot. All right, get out of there. I'm on. So now, where, where are we going? We're going to go back up for fire safety and uh, removal in case he's jammed.
Done. Hi there, Jason. <laughs> well, in all, we had a good day. Really got one that, that looked real good. We're very happy with it. So, all in all, it was a great day, very productive, and uh, that's a wrap.